New research by InfoTrack has indicated that 72% of Kenyans think that the country is headed in the wrong direction, with high cost of living being the main cause. The findings come amid the government's claim of economic recovery, with Kenya Revenue Authority announcing a 50 billion revenue collection in the hospitality sector. Tracy Ocheng with that full report. InfoTrack has released new research dubbed Voice of the People that has shown that 72% of Kenyans think that the country is headed in the wrong direction, with 87% attributing this to the high cost of living. These research findings come in the wake of opposition-led anti-government protests that were fueled by the passing of the Finance Act 2023 on June 26. Former Moranga Governor Mwangi Wairia announced that 8 million Kenyans have signed the Tumechoka Citizen Initiative, even as demonstrations against the Ruto Gashago regime loom on Wednesday. In the meantime, a signature collection, which now starts at 8 million, continues. Of 2,400 respondents from the research, 82% indicated that the cost of living is higher than during the pandemic period. Additionally, of the 87% of Kenyans who are aware of the Finance Act, 59% have expressed little faith in it having positive outcomes for the economy. 73% of those who are opposed to the Finance Act 2023 agree to the opposition's call to engage in civil disobedience through peaceful protests, tax boycotts and sit-ins. Despite the findings by InfoTrack, the government has assured Kenyans that the economy is getting stabilized owing to President Ruto's travels and the hospitality sector injecting 50 billion into the economy. Nimefanya mikutano mingi na World Bank na IMF na wale watu wengine wengi ambao tumekopa pesa kutoka kwao. Kwa sababu tulikuwa tunaeleza tunaelekea mahali telezi. But I want to confirm to the people of Kenya that we have stabilized our economy. Meanwhile, over the past three weeks, Kenyans have taken to the streets to decry the high cost of living, with over 27 people losing their lives to excessive force by the police. Calls for a truce have been shunned by both factions as they maintain hard lines and instead point fingers at each other for instigating violence and genocide. The only route is one, the ballot. Hakuna jia ingine. Na kwa hivyu rais ukae kidete, huyu mzee algoje, 2027, ahiko bali sana, he can wait. What sense does it make uh, to meet with people who are already committing acts of genocide. A key aspect in research is a tool called reliability that measures the consistency or inaccuracy of a research study. Trends for Insights for Africa and InfoTrack have come up with similar findings regarding the perception of the country. Will the third time be the charm? Tracy Ching reporting for GBS News.